Hello, my name is Al Clark, and I am here with Dave Cybray, owner and publisher of the West Virginia Explorer. And we're talking about the Grafton Monster in the new game Fallout 76. Dave, the, the Grafton Monster is, is one of five monsters you reported on. Is that, is that correct? Yes, it sure is, yes. Can you tell us a little bit about the, the Grafton Monster? What, what is it? Oh, yeah, I think I can tell you quite a bit. Uh, the, the monster, uh, apparently, uh, Tales of the Monster originated in the 1960s. Uh, a reporter, as I understand it, at one of the local newspapers had, had, uh, had chronicled seeing some sort of a beast in the town uh, one evening. And within a matter of uh, days, if not a day, uh, a lot of the youth in the town got caught up in monster fever. What is it? What did, what did they see? Well, reports now seem to be that they saw a, a beast, nine foot tall, pale, and headless. Where do they think it originated from? According to local legend, it, I don't know if they know where it originated from. Some believe that it moved downstream. Grafton, where they saw the monster, uh, is along the Tiger Valley River, and, and some believe that, that the monster may have, after having suffered too much notoriety in Grafton, had gone on downstream on towards what would become uh, Morgantown eventually. What does the um, what does it do? Well, it didn't seem to do too much. Um, it, it, it did a lot of stalking about. It did a lot of seemingly popping out of the woods, um, but we're not aware that it had ever done too much. I, I seem to remember something about a uh, maybe kind of a whistling sound that it had made when it had appeared, but it didn't create any, any havoc or, or, or well, destroy. havoc was created, but we're not aware of it having destroyed anybody. The encounters were visual. We don't know that that actually, unlike some of the other monsters in West Virginia that we've covered, uh, this one didn't seem to do to do much more than than frighten people. Well, what is the area uh, around Grafton like? Uh, well, it's a sleepy area. It's mostly farmland with a lot of woodland mixed in. You're several miles west of the Allegheny Mountains, which is deep, deep, deep woods. Uh, but there at Grafton, you're, you're outside of the deep forest. You're in a much more sedate region. The B&O Railroad opened in Grafton around the time of the Civil War, and there was a uh, you still have a lot of fascinating architecture in the town from that from that heyday, but by the time by the 1960s when this has occurred, the town had had uh, had become what one might call just a, a sleepy West Virginia town. Hmm. And it, it's close to the the Tiger Lake too, isn't it? Correct. Well, yes, so the is Tiger a, which is Lake. A very deep lake. Yeah, it's a deep lake. It's just upstream from the the town. And as a matter of fact, it seems that I've heard a, a rumors or come across some belief system that the that the monster had not actually left the area, but that it uh, somehow has has is, is is living around Tiger Lake, which is a state park and a place often visited by tourists. What does it, how does the, the monster behave in the game? In the game, from what I've seen, because it's a headless beast, it seems to, most of its, its power seems to be in its, its fists. So I, so I assume that, that, it's, that, that its main power in the game as a monster is, is to, swing, to swing around and pulverize. Um, one, of, one of the trailers we saw where the Grafton monster was actually in front of what looks like the, the penitentiary. In, in Moundsville, that, uh, yes, yes, which yes. is pretty far from Grafton. Yeah, yeah, Moundsville, as a matter of fact, for those of you who don't know, we're filming this in Moundsville, near the Moundsville Penitentiary, one of the uh, chief mm -hmm. sites for paranormal tourism in West Virginia. But we're, we're hours from Grafton here. Uh, so I think what's happening in the game is this monster might show up just about anywhere, not, in, not necessarily in Grafton, but certainly in the game, it is showing up in front of the, the old state penitentiary at Moundsville, which mm -hmm. you'll be able to find more information about on our website. Now, now you're, you're going to Grafton here before long, aren't you? We are headed out to Grafton in a few days to see what we can see. Um, I'm going to interview some people. The, you still hear people talking about the monster there. A lot of folks aren't open up to, uh, you know, 
speaking about it, but uh, I'm, I'm wanting to talk off the record to some people right. and see what right. the remembrances are, see what we can find out about the It's going to be interesting to see how the, the folklore actually compares to the, to, to the game, to see, what was, to see what they've incorporated. That's one of the questions that a lot of the gamers are coming up with, and, and I'm certainly asking is, will we know anything about fighting the monster by knowing about the, the folklore behind it? How will uh, how will the gamers how will folks be able to to, to follow you uh, with the uh, well, uh, audience? They, they can go to West Virginia Explorer at wvexplorer.com and you'll find uh, on the front page and many pages a link to Fallout WV our uh, newsletter uh, which is coming out at this point uh, bi-weekly. We plan to keep coming out as much as possible until the game is unveiled. Oh, uh, they can also go to uh, West Virginia Explorer on YouTube and find us there. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, we're going to hear from uh, from you about the other four monsters you reported on too, correct? Yeah, yeah. Here um, we'll great. be doing a series over the next few days. Great. Look, Looking forward to it. Thank you all. Thanks very much. Yeah.